I'm very excited to have my next guest join us. He just dropped a brand new EP called Sagittarius, a dear friend of the program. And I hope we're friends as well. Up yeah. salt. Hi, how's it going? Thanks so much for doing this. I appreciate oh, it. I appreciate you. I love how you're all bundled up as well for this. I would expect you to be just living the life in Mexico right now. Say, yep, EP's dropped. I'm, I'm uh, ready to relax in the sun. <laughs> no, I'm in LA right now. And like being from Phoenix, anytime it gets like under like 50 degrees, I'm like, it's freezing cold. Like I can't handle it. So I'm just like constantly bundled up. It's great. No, seriously, you look like you're in New York. I know. Literally everyone's been making fun of me because I've just been like living in puffer jackets the past like couple weeks and they're like <laughs> really not that cold. And I'm like, I'm freezing. So <laughs> crazy. Yeah. What was it like growing up in Phoenix? Because I feel like that with Scottsdale nearby, there's a lot of trouble that you could get into. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I went to school at a performing arts school downtown um, in downtown Phoenix. And so I feel like I grew up in this like little bubble of just like super like weird arts kids. Like we all just like went to school downtown every day, played instruments at school all day and then would like go out and like run around downtown Phoenix. So that was kind of like my upbringing was just like being a part of the music scene and just like running around playing as many shows as possible when I was like a kid. Yeah. You were hyper focused. Trying. Yeah, for sure. Especially with the musical background and all that stuff. That's always one thing that just trips me out is that you've been playing for so long and you play so many instruments and you demonstrate that in the videos that you make. 60 seconds. Let's make kickflip. Here we go. Da, 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 da. And you make it look so easy. <laughs> Thank you. It's right. not. I mean, for me, I feel like the production stuff doesn't come as naturally to me, but I think just from getting to like be in the room with a bunch of like producers and like learn from them, like the producers and writers that work on my music. I'm always just like watching what they're doing, like asking them questions. And so I kind of have learned how to like create like my version of like my songs, but yeah, that's all, that's all credit to the producers for sure. <laughs> no, it's a lot of you too. <laughs> We're trying. Yeah. <laughs> And that's one thing that I'm really stoked about is that, well, by the time this gets put up online and, and, and aired on broadcast, it'll have already been done, but you're doing this one woman show and yeah. you seem to do this quite frequently. How much work goes into it? What is the planning involved? And do you bring in these producers? Like, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? Yeah, I bring in my musical director. So Alex has been putting my shows together for like five years now, like during COVID and quarantine, I did a lot of like live streams from home, basically. Um, And he helped with those as well. And like, right now, if you could see what my I'm in my room right now, I moved all the furniture out of my room and behind me right now is like my whole live setup. It like looks like I'm at a venue right now. Um, So a lot of work goes into it. I think it's a lot of like, learning how to like create a live show without all the resources that like a venue normally has. So like I'm having to like, like rig everything to make it all work. It's like a really fun process and it never goes smoothly, but I think that's the fun of it is like trying to figure out how to make a live show happen for my bedroom. It's cool. It's no different than when you were first starting out, I would assume, yeah. right? Totally. And, and trying to find those gigs at Valley Bar or wherever in Phoenix and, and those kind of places. Totally. No, totally. It's definitely like, feels like I'm going back to like, yeah, like me in high school, just like booking shows, like plugging in my guitar and just like jamming, you know? Yeah. I love watching you perform live. I've been to obviously so many of your shows and just to see you progress and introduce different, you know, not just the live element aspect in terms of the songs itself, but the, the performance aspect of it. Thanks. Nice where you and your guitarist are back to back and you're facing each other, a lot of the rock and roll elements that I really enjoy. Um, what inspires you for those things? I don't know. I think for me, like growing up, my dad was in like punk bands, rock bands. So I was always just like watching him and I was like, oh, he's a rock star. Like I want to be like that. And I think now with my live show, no matter how pop or dancey the songs get, I think I'm always going to want to bring in that like punk sort of live element to to any song when it's live. And I also have such a talented band, um, like my drummer and guitarist are like next level. So anytime I can let them just like shred on something or like just make it sound a little bit different than what the actual record sounds like, I just I think that's what makes the live show so fun. I think just like making it as high energy as possible is like always going to be my goal. 
everyone always asks me for music recommendations. They're always like, all right, what are you listening to? What should I be, who should I have my radar and so forth? And I, when you drop new music, you know, I, I bring you up and they're like, wow, you know, this sounds great. Sounds very pop as, mm -hmm. as you are unashamedly, you know, admitting and, and saying right now. But what I love about your music is it's on a, you know, you have this through line of punk in you. You know, cool, especially with songs like Douchebag and, you know, we can talk about all the uh, not say for my mother language. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, how natural is that? I feel like that's something that a lot of pop artists are doing now today. But whereas you have been doing this for quite some time. I think it's more just the growing up in the like punk scene or just like being around that for me like genre aside and like sound and production aside I think the whole energy of like what punk is which is like being unbothered saying whatever you want and just being extremely like unapologetic about it all has been the one through line for me and I think yeah I think that's what music is about and I remember I had a moment when I was about to put out my song called drugs like a few years ago and it was like the first song I put, was about to put out that I was like Ooh, like people might not like this. Like I was a little scared and I had to have this moment, like this conversation with myself of like, but that's punk. Like that's the whole energy of it. And like, that's why we do music is to like, you should be scared to put a song out. And I think once I had that moment with that song, like ever since then, I just like want to just be as unapologetic as possible. And if people don't like it, that's their problem. It's not mine. <laughs> Sagittarius. Here we yes, are. It's out. I'm so happy it's finally out. It's crazy. And it's been quite a number of months in the working. It has. Yeah. I mean, when I last saw you, when did I last see you? And it was in Austin. Yeah. Just in it October. It didn't seem that long ago, but even that was like, what, like a month and a half ago, two months ago. And even then I was like still working on like still finishing, like tracking vocals on it and stuff. So it was like a fun process of like starting to write it like at the beginning of this year, really like diving in this summer. And then while I was on the road um, on my tour, I was like still working on it and like leaving the show and then like going and like tracking vocals in my hotel room. Like, so it was a really fun kind of like long process, which was cool. And the subject matter is definitely this evolution. It's, it's, it, it's touching on various points of a relationship as well as your mental psyche. Where did this start? What song was the seed that led you to this because you obviously use writing as a therapeutic process. Yeah. Cool question. I think, I mean, the first song I wrote for the EP was ANSI, which I wrote like earlier this year when I was like in between tours, like opening for other people. And I did like a writing trip out in Nashville and it was like my first time writing in a while because I was on tour so much. And I went into the studio, wrote this song called ANSI, which is like not really a song I would usually write because it was like this ballad that then was this like dancey sort of like EDM-ish drop. But then I was like really calling myself out and being like very vulnerable in the lyrics. And I think making that song um, from a songwriting perspective, but also like from a production perspective was very like, it's kind of when everything about whatever the next project was going to be like started clicking for me where I was like, all right, I want to be like vulnerable and like I can make all these like bad bitch songs all day, but like, I want to like say the real shit now. And I think making that song and then like feeling so free with the production um, is what like inspired the rest of the whole process of the EP. I feel like each song feels like it's a, like inspired by a different genre or whatever. Like, I think it was all just like a freeing process and it's because of writing that song first. You said that Lady Jesus was representative of the relationship that you had you know gone through and, and the breakup and so forth and you did do touch on the relationship aspect in toast which mm -hmm. is it, it, for me a standout on this album or ep <laughs> i want to keep calling things albums but you know this <laughs> yeah. that song you know it, it just hits so hard i love the bass line i love the melody and all of it was that quick to write what was what was what was that process Thank you. I, I do love that song. It's um the process of this one was wild because I got to write it with Tove Lo, who I'm like such a massive fan of. Like I've been to Tove's concerts, like I love her. And so getting to do um some sessions with her and some writing um at the beginning of the summer was a dream. And it was funny because Toast was 
the last song we had written. We had did we had done like a few days, had written maybe like five or six songs, and it was the last day, and we had already written something. But we were like, should we try writing just like one more? Like we'll see. Like if we don't get anything, all good. But like, let's just write a ballad. And like we went back into the studio, and within like five seconds she's like mumbling something about toast in the corner and I was like what are you saying we're writing a ballad like how is toast gonna tie into this and then she had this like we were making toast in the morning line and then it turned into this whole like breakup ballad song that like ripped my heart out and um yeah then my friend Pete Nappy hopped on the production he does a lot of the production of my stuff and finished it and then it was funny because like when we wrote the song, I known that I loved it. And I was like, wow, this is like heartbreaking. And now that it's out and I'm like talking about it, it's very much like anything that comes to an end. I feel like in your life, whether it is like a relationship, a situationship, like an era of your own life, a job, like whatever it is, like, I think learning to be grateful for things ending because like everything ends for a reason, I think is now what the song feels like it's about for me, which is cool. Cause the meaning has kind of like changed over time for me you've written songs with other people for other people what was it like to what is it like to just open up to somebody like that and and just to be able to be that vulnerable because it's in a way you're talking to a psychiatrist totally yeah I think that's exactly it is for me it's like free therapy I think as like a as an artist and as a writer I think it's like our job to be like uncomfortably open sometimes about our lives and like sometimes for me it's a lot easier to be like that vulnerable with like people I just met in the studio than it is sometimes with like people I've known my whole life you know because there's like not that like connection yet you're just like let me tell you my life story and I think that's what makes songwriting so rad is you can like know someone for like five minutes and then all of a sudden you're like pouring your heart out to this person and you guys are writing a song about it and like there's something so magic about being able to connect with like on like a stranger in that way, you know? And I think I just try to like lean into it and like, I definitely overshare and I definitely feel so bad for everyone that has to write with me. Cause like I walk <laughs> in, you will never guess what happened. And then it's like this whole like spiral, but I think that's the magic of it. And that's why, yeah, that's why we write for sure. That's awesome. I, I am so happy for you. And obviously there's more to come. So yes. congrats on this EP and happy holidays. Thank you. You too. Thank you. I have to say you've been like the best at just like keeping in touch since like we met like five years ago, like literally my first show ever, I think. And like, it's just always so fun to catch up with you. Like, thank you so much for, for always hanging out. It's great. No, absolutely. I love talking to you and I appreciate you. Love the music. Obviously, I love you as a person. Thanks. You too. Hell yeah. So, uh, what, what are you doing for the holidays anyway, before we go? I'm going to just like get stoned on my parents' couch for two weeks straight and do nothing. I'm just, so <laughs> I'll keep promoting Sagittarius and annoying people all day about it. But yeah, I'm just excited to like unplug and just like spend time with family. It's going to be yeah. great. Nice. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, congrats on this EP again. Thank you so much. Thanks for doing this. Seriously, I appreciate Abs- it. Absolutely. Absolutely.